Welcome to Tegra Tekindi. Today we're going to look a little bit more at the virtual sensors in AquaSuite and what do I use them for and how. Um, I have a few up here made. Already I have my uh, highest value control fans. I showed that in the first video. You have all the I have three temperatures from the GPU and then core CPU core 1 to 16 and then water temp and then the ambient, and then pretty much average all of those with a smooth, uh, with a, uh, what's it called? Smooths values with, within the time interval. So within 20 seconds, it takes the that value and send it on, and then that controls my fans. Meaning if something pump goes up pretty quickly over here, it translates pretty quickly down here and will up my fan curve. This number, I have kept an eye on it when I made it. This number will always be higher than the water temperature. The highest water temperature or coolant temperature I have seen in my system is 35 to 36 degrees. And that's after days of gaming. So uh, the fan curve is pretty nice. Uh, in my opinion. So what else do I have? I have CPU clock speed. So I simply just added core 1 to 16, then plus, it, it looks a bit messy, but you simply just add this one, and then the second one, then, then one, then you add some, all of them together. You average them out with 16, because you have 16 cores. And then you get a number that's in megahertz, so you divide it by 1,000, then you get gigahertz. I have CPU watt, that's pretty simple. Let's try and make a... I have a GPU temp. Let's make a CPU temp. So we click on add. We want a sample. We already know it's going to be CPU temp. And the unit is Celsius. There we go. And then we need to add. Right click the mouse and add or click the plus button and data source in. So we need to find it. We're just going to take the CPU package at this. Uh, there we go. We're going to go with CPU package. Where is it? CPU package. Double click on it, and then, then it writes its name itself. Click yes. So now we have CPU package, and that's the temperature. We should now be able to click up in sensors here. We are right now in playground in virtual sensors. We can click back up here in sensors. We can go to one software sensor we haven't used. The first four here are sensors that are on the Octo. So I use the first one for coolant, the fourth one for ambient. Then I have two more temperature probes I can put on the Octo. I haven't yet, but I probably will at some point. So you click on sensor seven over here, virtual sensors, and then you add the CPU temp. But once you do that, let's pick up hardware info. Where is the hardware info? Hardware info is right here. When I click yes, you will see on hardware info, under here there will be a new line called Software Sensor 7. So let's do that. And then, here we go, there it appears. Now you know what that is because you know it's Software Sensor 7. So you right click on this one, rename, we're going to rename it CPU temp because then it's the same both places. And it's already in. But let's say you want to add one of the other ones here, a CPU watt, for instance. You could also. Let's. You want to have them at different places. You can actually move them around here. Oh. If you want to change the, oh, let me move this one in a little bit. Two seconds, you can't see it. Uh, unlock, move you in here. Uh, lock the baby again. Now we're back here. If you want to go with, you can change it to what, you can change it to percentage, you can change it to Celsius. That's the three I have right now. So I have CPU, GPU, 
I have free memory. I have 60% free memory because I'm not doing much right now. I have CPU watts. You can see the maximum CPU watt have been 320 because I was playing around with it. I did a uh, Cinebench test to see if something worked. GPU watt has been up to 260. Temperatures on the fan controller have been 68, but that's the... That was the... Uh, This sensor here, that has been up to, as you can see, it has been up to 68 degrees, but the highest my f water has been today is 31. So, and, that, and that's how I use, I use hardware info to see because on the Aqua Computer Arcto, you can set pretty much anything you want here. I still have plenty of sensors to play with. Let's go back to the other window. I still have what eight I have eight small sensors I can set for something. I can just make whatever I want to in virtual sensors and then add it up there. 